What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Y'all already know it's the T.O. Mac Fitness Show each and every Thursday on the Evening Rush Network. It's me, myself, my co-host, Roz, was unable to make it today, so I've brought on my beautiful wife, Erica. Hey, everybody. And of course, a few weeks ago, we were supposed to have this goddess of yoga live with us, but she had an unfortunate accident and was unable to make it to us, so... I'm going to welcome <laughs> incredible, amazing yoga with Diane. How are you doing, Diane? I'm better. I'm doing good. I'm feeling blessed to be here. Um, and I just want to thank all of you um, for being patient with me while I go through uh, my thing. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I had to have you on the show. So, and um, I appreciate that. The, the love that you've been getting from my former co worker was like amazing. She just, like I told you, she just kept beating me on the head, like, you know, I know you know her. I know you know her. <laughs> You're into the workout thing. She's into the workout thing. And I'm like, we're on two different ends of the spectrum. I'm into the clanging and banging, and she's into the. No, no, no. I cling and bang too, but I'm more the, like I, I get it popping in the gym. Don't, don't, don't sleep. Oh, 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 oh I didn't know no, that. No. I didn't know that. So you be yes. clinging and banging. I want all of it, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to hear. That's definitely what I wanted to hear. But you, you know, you gotta incorporate the yoga and the zen with the the clinging and the bing, binging and the banging and all of that, and that's where people get lost. I ain't going to call out the men, but typically the men. <laughs> I love to do one of these. Yeah, uh, yeah, I stretched. No, you didn't. So, oh. that's why. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm, somebody yeah. is speechless up there. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> and that's where, like, I, I'm be I want to bring to the awareness of uh, people in general, like, you can go to the gym and, and lift, you know, pick heavy things up and put them down and do all of that. Ooh! But you have to calm all of that down, stress, mm -hmm. stretch it out, breathe Why it out. I'm being picked on on the show. <laughs> I mean, if the show fits, I mean, you know. Ouch. <laughs> I was your okay. friend for like 30 seconds and then you just. Well, I mean, you invited me, so I'm here to just share the glory. <laughs> Erica, stop smiling at that. I, I'm just saying, if she's right, she's right. Look, I can be down with dog. <laughs> All right, stop. I'm just saying. You just people lose people lose that, and I think um, yoga is is not glorified in our spaces for people of color. Mostly, it's glorified for white spaces. So I think our our people just look at yoga as a form of like, oh, that's not for us. Oh, it's boring. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not really getting a workout. You have not taken my class because you will bust a sweat. You will be like, oh my God, we still have more rounds. Yes, you do. So I think it 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 has to do with you finding an instructor that meshes with your aura, your spirit, your style of working out. Mm -hmm. And as I was visiting um, different classes, I I di didn't resonate with a lot of teachers and the space that they cultivated. So it just brought me to a space where I wanted to bring the people what I wanted to see in yoga classes. So I guess we, we probably passed it. So let me stop. Let me let you ask your questions. <laughs> No, 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 no. You just flown. But before we move on, let me shout out my sponsors, Elevate Yours. Just in case y'all didn't know, she has the best CMOS on the planet. I highly recommend her. My bro, Wise from Wise Choice Sue and Dream. My wife will attest. I made a boo boo. I put a bunch of fruit in the toilet. And he actually, over the phone, told me what to do. So, Wise Choice Sue and Dream. Fruit. Follow guys. Fruit. He put fruit. <laughs> Um, of course, sayings by butter. This is my old logo, but of course, you guys see my logo across the screen. So sayings by butter. Um, 
Faith No Fear clothing line, Envious Creations, one of the greatest bakers in New York or maybe in the United States because she's that amazing. Of course, 2920 Clothing, they have great quality and affordable clothing. Of course, Indian Ivy Inc., which is a, um, a black company that do they do journals they do a lot of just different things and of course styles by angel that's um pretty much family she's the one that takes care of my daughter's hair and she's braided my wife's hair she's braided, braided plenty of our, our front hair so she does braids weaves natural all that she does so shout out to all my sponsors anybody want to talk to diane the phone number to call in is 929-441-2417 of course i introduce myself again my name is tl mac I'm the owner of TL Mac Fitness. I'm also the host of the show with my co-host Roz. Roz is unavailable, so I have my beautiful wife Erica on. And of course, we're accompanied by the goddess of yoga, Yoga mm -hmm. Diane. Say that, the beautiful wife. <laughs> but of course, you, you know, Diane has already come for my neck, you know, so. Say that. Okay. <laughs> No, I didn't come for I didn't come for all of your neck. Just a little smidgen. Just a little bit. Look, so, so what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna next time you have a yoga thing going, if it doesn't interfere with any of my clients, I'm gonna come on down. I just have one question. Can you touch your toes without bending your knees? Exactly, I can. Ask the wife. <laughs> Ask the wife. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> You now, can if you ask me. If you ask me, I can't do it, but he can do it. Mm. I need I need you to actually like document that. Like make sure his knees are not bent at all. And if he could touch his toes. Oh my gosh, here he go. Here he go. Oh, can you so now can you place your whole hand on the floor like a second pair of feet? Oh. All right. Yes, unfortunately. All right. All, right. All right. Don't think I just clang and bang. I got to be flexible because, you know, when you muscular, the movements tighten your body up. So oh. you be able to, you know, just in case you got to dance every so often. Okay. You got you got some points there. You got some points. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, right. It's okay. But that's, but that's good because I teach fifth graders and fifth graders can't even pass their shin. So... Yeah. Well, we're at a different time and age now with with our kids. So yeah, so that's usually usually my first easy test to see um, how flexible or how how far I could take it with certain people. And um, I, I, I can do I can't do none of that other crazy stuff. I did. I'm be honest with you. I did like two or three yoga classes, and. Listen, if you could touch your toes, that's a big deal in my eyes. Oh. Uh, it's it's such a simple it's such a simple task in a lot of people's eyes, but you don't realize how much mobility you need in your hips and your hamstrings, your knees gotta be healthy. So a lot goes into just touching your toes that people don't even realize. And that's usually my first test to see where I can push, what I have to work with. <laughs> Erica's like, uh. <laughs> yeah, I've, done a, I've done quite a few yoga classes. Um, they weren't bad. I wouldn't say they're for me. I mean, I guess it depends on the classes. I love that when you say that. You know it how many depends. clients I have that said that? On the class that you go to, because I've been to yoga classes at LA Fitness. I've been to yoga classes with personal friends who actually teach yoga. So I guess the experiences are different. And now I'm hearing uh, all different types of yoga hot rock yoga, goat yoga. I saw that on TV. <laughs> goat yoga. I, I'm like, whoa, they they taking this day <laughs> somewhere else now. <laughs> So I guess to start, I started teaching yoga with babies first. With babies? When you say babies, wow. you mean like baby babies? Yeah, babies and kids. I was teaching. I started my teaching career in the daycare. I was teaching mommy and me. And then I was teaching from, um, I think, um, six months to one and then twos, 
up until five. And then I got into um, middle school. And then actually, like people, when people listen to my story, like I got my adult certification last. So it was all just kids and babies. <laughs> so so nice. you backwards. Yeah, I started, it was babies, kids, teens, prenatal yoga, and then adults. That, so that's that's amazing. Yeah, it was a lot, but um, I'm certified across the board. And I have to say, like kids, the babies and the kids touch my heart the most. Um, yeah. Me and my wife, we're both first grade educators, so we love the babies. We love the little kids. It's so much fun because it's like you, you like to get them to do certain poses. Like it's like a story like, oh, my God, we're going to see SpongeBob or on our magic carpet, which is the yoga mat. Oh, my God, don't jump off. And they're like, more open to it. They're more open to doing different things yeah. like that. And adults, I mean, they're like, what? <laughs> sometimes I use those little tactics on adults. So, <laughs> yes, let's not sleep. I'm like, hello, sun. Let's go <laughs> touch the sun. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll leave that one right where it's at. I'm just saying. Oh when gosh. I give my clients homework and they say they forget the sun titan, okay, hello, sun. Reach and touch the sun. Hello, earth. Touch the grass. Touch your toes. Play with some grass on the on the floor. Hello, hello, dog. Downward dog. Roof, roof, roof. Hello, hi. <laughs> it's just an easy way for you to remember. I like that though. Yeah, I just I just find um, so I am a PE teacher and I teach okay. in an auditorium. So mm -hmm. I teach with charter. Three schools in the building. We share space. I was either, I was given the choice of a classroom or the auditorium. I said, give me the auditorium. I got more to work with. Right. Are you in Queens or Brooklyn? I'm in Brooklyn, that's Okay. So with the auditorium, of course, comes, you know, a lot of hurdles. You have to go over stage, wood, wooden seats, all that. But I, were, I worked that auditorium to the point where you put me in a gym and I'm lost because I got so creative with the auditorium. Like P other the other PTE teachers come in my class, like, how did you like come up with stuff like this? And I'm just like, I don't know, I just have a tact for it. <laughs> how are your kids when it comes to yoga as opposed to regular gym? So yoga Mondays is a thing. I teach yoga every Monday. Um, I have kids actually asking for yoga. Um, oh my god, I can't wait for yoga mom. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Um, a lot of them were not um, receptive to it at first. Um, and then dealing with, you know, kids with um, ADHD, they move a lot and they can't really like stay focused on like those were like my babies. Mm -hmm. And you walk them, walking them through meditation. I had them lead in class. And that's to the point where I just wanted to teach kids that you can allow space for yourself to do nothing and just breathe and just relax. Like you sit in class, you go home, you're being told to clean your room, go do this, go to the store, pick up your pencil, write. I want you to come here and just relax and just don't think about anything. And just walk them through uh, uh, just a simplistic like journey to just relax themselves. The simplest thing to not move. Like I would say, if you're moving right now and you can't relax, ask yourself, Miss P is asking you to do nothing but relax. Not asking you to clean your room. Not asking you to track the board. I'm not asking you to answer a question or write a paragraph. Mm -hmm. Need you to just relax. And I would scan the room and I would see like a foot moving like this. Or like a kid moving their fingers or trying to touch somebody on the next to them and then slowly like they would just stop. That's, and that's, that's amazing. That's to, that's to like beautiful. I mean, especially, you know, because your love for it. So what actually got you into doing yoga other than you going to oh different Oh my places? God. My my purpose. My <laughs> story's bizarre. I was in my last year of undergrad for marketing and advertising major. And this 
um, student in my class just walked in. She was wet. And I'm like, wait. And I was in night school at that point. I was like, where are you coming from? She goes, yeah, hot yoga. I'm like, hot yoga? It's hot yoga. <laughs> but she goes, um, up the block. And I went to FIT um, mm-hmm. in Chelsea. So I was like, hot yoga? And I'm like, okay. So one day I just went up the block and I found it. And I said, cool, let me try it. So I tried it. I fell in you know, the, the room. It's not for everybody. The room was like 105 degrees. The class was 90 minutes. And I was just at a point in my life where I was about to graduate and then I was contemplating my purpose. And I was mm-hmm. like, I don't think my purpose is working for a marketing firm. Like I just wanted to really tap into what God placed in me to share with the world. And it wasn't resonating with marketing in a firm. So I took the class, I fell in love with it, started doing it often. And then the revelation came up and I was like, I want to just start volunteering. I looked up random New York hairs, signed up and started signing up for random um, sites. And I found baby yoga. I was like, wait, baby yoga is a thing. <laughs> That's what I'm at. I signed up for the baby yoga session. I went, I watched the teacher do it. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I just looked for all the baby yoga <laughs> Session sites signed up, and then I was like, "Oh, I think this is a thing for me." So, long story short, um, I wasn't working at the time. I was like doing odd end jobs just to like focus on school. And I said, "I want to get certified," but of course, I didn't have no money. And I looked up certification; there were like thousands of dollars. I went on Craigslist and looked up sort of inter- internships for certifications and boom I found a woman who was looking for marketing for her business in exchange nice. for cert- certification that's, so, yeah that's cool. I was like if this is not God <laughs> <laughs> wow so I, I emailed her and that was the beginning of my journey she um, I was doing her um, Instagram page like all her marketing on online I was handling all of that. And then in return, she gave me my certificate. And then she put me on the site, um, the daycare that she had in Brooklyn, which was in like East New York. And then one of her um, instructors that I was following, she was pregnant. Ding. She had the baby. And guess who took her place? That must have been amazing for you. So let me just ask you this question. So uh, the ethnicity... In yoga, do you get a lot of black families or? Yeah, well, where the demographic I was teaching was in East New York, so it was okay. black. Okay. Um, the person I was teaching for was not black, okay. <laughs> but um, I would have to say that when I took over, more parents started coming to the mommy and me. Okay. And I think it had to do with seeing who's teaching now. Right, right. I, I did notice that. And um, then she put me in multiple sites. So, and then teachers started resonating. And it was like, oh, we want her to come back. And I was like, oh. And then I got my foot in the door at the school that I'm in currently. This is my eighth year. I was teaching after school yoga there. Mm-hmm. and. That school did not have PE at all. And um, within the first year of after school, the school, um, there was a math teacher there. I'll never forget him, Mr. Young. He wanted to push health conscious things for kids. And he was a math teacher. He gave up half an hour of his class to, to pilot PE. And I was the chosen one to pilot it. So I had to get those kids downstairs and back upstairs on time for the next class in 30 minutes, not 30, 25, because you got to, I'm traveling from the fourth floor to the first and I made it work. That's a beautiful thing. And then they bought me out the contract and they hired me as a full PE teacher. And then now the school had PE. So I was a founding PE teacher in the school I'm currently in. And this is my eighth year. Wow. That's that's, that's beautiful right there. Yeah. 
<laughs> is there anything else you like to do outside of yoga as far as fitness? And also, I want to get into the different health benefits of, of yoga. So I'm very much into weight training. Oh, yeah. So don't, don't. <laughs> Uh, I do weight training, but right now, like, you know, it's this accident. It has halted a lot of things for me, but I'm just being patient with myself. And um, I'm also heavily into the alkaline life. I don't know if y'all know what that is. Yes. It's a step mm -hmm. above vegan. Um, and heavy meditation. Because I'm a vegan. Big step above. <laughs> <laughs> Look, listen, more power to both of you, okay? <laughs> Your vegan lifestyles, I still love my meat. I need my chicken. I'm not there with any of that yet. So more power baby, to the both of baby you. <laughs> baby yes. Baby yes. Baby yes. <laughs> um, and um, I am heavily into meditation. And my new venture um, that I've been sitting on is um, becoming a life coach. Nice. So um, I did start a girls mentorship group within the school. I ran it for five years and mm -hmm. that, you know, some of my former girls are still staying in contact with and they still like, we need to, you know, start this some way, somehow again. And I'm like, oh. and it was my heart. So I'm like trying to see how I can bring that back. Um, our, our, our community alone, the black and brown community they need to see positive mentors in our community, especially that not only that live in the community, because a lot of the mentors are outside of the community come in from Long Island or Jersey. But if you actually live inside the community, they respect it a lot more. I live literally four blocks from my school. So when we go to the supermarket, to the laundromat, wherever we go, I see some of my students or some of the kids in the building. And yeah. And I just like I just want to create a space even for like like as when I pitched mine I started my own yoga business I created just spaces and different creative things for women to just open up like I created um something called paint and meditate where you have a full yoga class but your painting is guided by your meditation and where your spirit takes you so, for example, you right. I would start the meditation, um, and then whatever is resonating with your spirit at that moment, I may ask you what color resonates with how you're feeling, and add it to your canvas. Oh, nice. And then we would do yoga, and then another meditation, and then I would say, um, add a word that comes up to your in your brain, or on your heart, or an affirmation. And like I piloted with my friends and I was like, okay, what's the feedback? It's like, oh my God. <laughs> like I had tears. I had like real, like, oh my God, I needed this. Like I was having a hard week and like this really helped me relax. And I expressed, like I watched my friend black out her whole canvas and then through the meditation, slowly add color back. And I just saw that, like, that's just something I created for people to have a sacred space where they can just come and really. So do you and add, like, track like, yoga music with, you and know, all of that? <laughs> you can, like, twerk and have fun. So <laughs> work in yoga. Oh, my God. I can't track yoga. Mm-hmm. And what music that. you put on for that? What what music you putting on for that? Are you even <laughs> body yaddy 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 yaddy? <laughs> oh my goodness! So you know I'm versatile. So I can have a pit and meditate, and then I can have a trap yoga, and then I can have. Uh... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. How does that even go together, though? Did you just say trap Not yoga? Together. How does that go together? Is it? It's not it yoga. Okay. You're thinking of quiet you're thinking of that serene music that you hear when you go into the spa like how does that even go together <laughs> because this is this is the thing yoga is not just um yoga is you being comfortable in your space 
like you being in your space and releasing however which way you release. People think yoga is like you could turn into a pretzel or you have to like, uh, no, because let's just be honest. Meditation is very hard. It's very hard because you could be trying to meditate and you're thinking about, oh, what I'm going to cook for dinner. Oh, I got to do laundry. Oh, this, this person pissed me off. Or something somebody said to you back in the day, some childhood trauma that resurfaced. Like all of these things can pop up into your meditation. Like, and sometimes being still is not a form of release. So that's why I open different avenues. Like maybe you're not a talker. Sometimes I don't feel like talking. And the can that's where the canvas comes in. You can express yourself on a canvas with different colors and all of the above. And then sometimes you just gotta get up and twerk it out. Like <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I would I would love to be a fly on a wall for twerk I, yoga. No, no, no. Yeah, well, I'm going to say is, this is the <laughs> goddess. And then, because oh, I'm going to add you too, because I did create couples yoga, and I had a birthday, a birthday event, and she did couples, and it was a hit. And it was like combination poses with your partner. Listen. We know she got a baby. Terrence, See? remember? We was watching one of them shows and we saw them doing the whole couples yoga together. Yeah, yeah it's so cute. Mm -hmm. I just can't yeah. with the the, the <laughs> twerk. That, that one. Yes, you can. You lost me yes, with that can. one, but all the rest. <laughs> I, do, I do hot yoga. Especially as I'm getting ready for my competition, I would come do hot yoga. I ain't I'm twerking. Too. At you all. don't have to twerk. She's going to twerk on you, but you got to hold it down. You can't move because you got to hold your balance. Yeah, no. <laughs> look look how he's looking. Absolutely not. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Like I had one I had one, one pose in particular. It was a competition. The, the men had to hold tree pose, right? They had to hold tree pose. And then their significant other has a twerk in front of them and they can and whoever drops first lost. So whoever held their tree pose and their significant other did not drop them won. <laughs> CL Max well, Fitness does not have any type of self-control, so he would have dropped his pose. <laughs> he has no self-control. So yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm honest. But yeah. y'all trying to win. Like, I would be so mad at you. Like, listen, focus. <laughs> but see, there's a difference. What are we focusing on? We're focusing on winning. You need to focus on balancing. That's what you need to do. But. And there's no but. Still win. <laughs> I cannot stand him. Oh, my gosh. I really can't. <laughs> Why can't I win both ways? No. Because if you, if you drop the pose, it's a problem. Now, now we lost. We really? can worry about that later on, but we need to win in this moment. So you got to hold the tree pose. That's what I'm talking about. I Focus. Know. I don't know. We'll see. So, so now with the pandemic going on and all this crazy stuff, um, you offer Zoom classes? Like, how does it work now? So um, I did start with Zoom classes and then I got a lot of private clients. So I kind of held off on that. Um, group classes, but people have been hitting me up about group classes, so it might be a thing I might revisit again, but I do offer private um, Zoom one-on-ones right now. That's nice. D did you want to go back into a gym or a center or I don't know what you call them, a yoga studio or are you happy with what you're doing now? No, I love the interaction with people. I mean, unfortunately, it's it's still weird to me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Safety first. I, I'm really like, I, I I'm not doing well with this new world. Like, it doesn't. It, it it's not for me. <laughs> like, so I rather do Zoom because at least I can be my full self, and I won't forget like these restrictions because. I'm just so like, oh, let me help you. Like I'm used to like adjusting people and going right. to like 
asking them for permission to, oh, can I touch you? Can I readjust you? And I can't do that. So mm -hmm. that's a lot of reprogramming for me that I don't know if I'm, I'm ready I for. Yes. I, have a, I have a few people saying that they want to try to tra the trap yoga. Oh, Lord Jesus. Look at her face, though. I can't. <laughs> and my aunt, shout out to my aunt, Fran. She she's, she said she loves your idea. They're very creative. Of course, that's why I said we have the goddess of yoga, yoga with Diane. And <laughs> as y'all can see, she is a full, full blown comedian. And of course, at the end of the day, we're going to have to pause for a second and pay some bills. So anybody looking to get a spot on the Evening Rush Network to do a podcast, here's the information. Looking to podcast shows and do not know where to start? The Evening Rush Network can help you with that. Call us at 929-441-2417 or email us at theeveningrushnetwork at gmail.com for dates and prices. We got you for all your podcast needs. The Evening Rush Network. Tune in, subscribe, and share. Again, before we move on, Hope you guys got that information. If not, you can contact me if you're looking to get a show on the Evening Rush Network. But shout out to my sponsors, Elevate Yours, Wise Choice Sue and Dream, Sayings by Butter, and of course, Butter. I got your message where you said if I drop Erica, I don't get none. Let Come on now, we're married. Jeez, I have to get mine. You ain't dropping me. Get out of here. Butter. <laughs> um, Faith No Fear Clothings, Envious Creations. 2920 Clothing, Indian IV Inc., and of course, Styles by Angel. So everybody is loving your ideas. So before we move on, tell people how they can get in contact with you. And at the end of the show, I'll, I'll put the information up on my social media so they can get in contact with you. And I'm going to be honest with you. We've talked a few times outside the show, and we said that we're going to do something together. So... Hopefully this summer. No, I'm not going to say hopefully because hopefully is a failure word. This summer, TL Mac Fitness and Yoga with Diane will do something special at one of these parks in New York for you guys. Perfect. With water. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about with water. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Wait. Because wait, you're kind of crazy. <laughs> so when you say with water, what do you mean with splash, water? Splash, baby. Splash. No. <laughs> All right, so that idea might get canceled. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because water is therapeutic. Like, I love water, and I just think it relaxes people. And um, I, pre I, in the summer, I was teaching a lot in the, in, mm -hmm. in the parks. So I would choose certain parks with water um, for that reason. And if I'm choosing, if I'm I'm teaching the yoga part, like you could go find some place where the water's not, you know, there, then we could migrate to. <laughs> you know what? Though? I'm, I'm all for it because my thing is, I'm a little over a year from having a kidney transplant. So mm -hmm. in our black community, we've talked about diabetes, high blood pressure, lupus, cancer. You know, which I have family member actually dealing with cancer right now. So it all touches me as far as the health element does. So I want our community, the black and brown community, to have an outlet and come out and be able to do something that's not only fun and therapeutic, but it helps with their, their long-term health. And yeah. there are many opportunities for our community outside of the gym aspect of it to get that. So me as a personal trainer and you as a yoga instructor, we can bring that together to our community and go to different parks and just say, OK, listen, we offer this here. Come on down and do this and have fun. And you're going to love what you're going to get because you're going to get the workout and you're going to get the stretching and you're also going to get the meditation. That's true. And I do think all of that starts with the mental. Like yeah. you have to get your mentals together because if it's all it's all a mind game. Mm -hmm. If you tell yourself you could do it, you can do it. And I know in our community, like, we love saying, like, oh, I can't. It's so hard. But it's Feel like everything. 
Like every day is a step. Like even if you fall off, like anybody that reaches out to me wants like a, you know, like I'm I'm about to do a three day juice cleanse with one of my close friends um this weekend. She reached out and she was like, I want to do it with you. And I was like, Okay. I'm send like, okay, I'm say it again. Send me that information. <laughs> I will. And um the, these are the type of partnerships I, I want to cultivate in the community and which is why I'm pushing myself to become, you know, um, a motivational speaker or a life coach because it comes with the mental. Like we grew up in, you know, generations that didn't teach none of this. Like we are now like breaking all of these, you know, routines that we're taught. Like, you know, mental health is not prominent in like it's non-existent. The so first like, thing that's said in our community, you know, all three of us are educators. So the first thing that's always said in our community is medication. As far and and we try to avoid the therapeutic measures before getting the medication. You know, and there are so many things that we can do in our community to help our kids before getting to the medication. Now there are cases where medication will be needed, but. I'm sure those cases are far and few between. If we work yeah, with but I think I think some I think most people just rush to the medication and a simple question of like how are you feeling can solve a lot. Oh, <laughs> how can I help you? People don't ask like simple empathetic questions because people either don't care or they don't want to hear they, they're they not listening. People don't mm. listen to actually listen, to understand. They listen to respond. Like a lot of people, you know, oh, let me talk to you. And then before you even finish your question, they have a rebuttal. Sometimes I don't even want to hear a rebuttal. I just want I just want someone, a physical person to listen because I just want to release. Mm -hmm. Like I pushed myself the other day to do a spoken word event on Zoom. I've always wanted to do spoken word. I love spoken word, but never like my trauma from writing from my childhood. I end up writing. I never wrote a poem ever because I just just didn't want to do it. I end up writing five poems in like an hour. And then I perform them. People thought I did it for like a living. I'm like, no, this is my first time. So it's like things like that. Like you have to find different avenues to allow people to express themselves how they need to express themselves. And I think yoga was my avenue because to start to change your diet and exercise routine, you have to tap into your mental. What happened? You said a failure word. We don't use the word diet. A diet. Lifestyle change. There we go. See, that was the key. That's something I'm trying to unlearn. So that, that, yeah. that, that, that slipped in, but that was routine. Lifestyle yeah, change. My normal right. listeners that ask why we don't say diet, a diet is something that is short term. It lasts from a day to probably 30 to 60 days. A Correct. lifestyle change is something that you're trying, that you're, and again, trying is a failure word, that you're doing for life. Correct. Example, myself, I'm a vegan. I've given up pork fish, chicken, red meat, so on and so forth, even though I'm thinking about going back to the fish. Not sure yet. See, see look. <laughs> it, it, you know what? Listen, I'm going you know, to crush, crush your dreams because I'm going to inbox you a picture of a fish with parasites in it, and I promise you you won't go back. Don't send it because I still eat fish, okay? <laughs> Well, look, if you send it right, which, which, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it up it, please, and I'm going to take the picture down and I'm going to put it up. I'm just saying, so you look, know, it's listen, it's not even to throw people out. You say thankful for the animals. <laughs> it's, 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 so I did a lot of research when I like started giving up things. And the easiest way to change your mindset on things that you really want to work on is to actually just educate yourself on it when i started mm -hmm. educating myself on meat and what it's really doing to our bodies and like sugar sugar is death um and we just don't realize like what you put in your mouth and what you allow yourself to intake your energy like around your energy and your mental really makes or break your overall health 
And it just starts with like little small things like, can you drink a half a gallon of water a day and not drink coffee or any of other like sugary drink? You can see a drastic change in that, just in your skin, just in a lot of things. Like if you if you start juicing and start like drinking green juice in the morning, if you stop eating bacon, egg and cheese in the morning, like I get on my kids all the time. You should not be eating no bacon, egg and cheese at 7 a.m. Like what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to even hold you up. I, I used to be a bacon, egg and cheeser. But that it's was bacon, really, egg and really, cheese really. with an Arizona or honey bun with an Arizona or a frat. Nah, 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 oh, nah. No. I didn't see beef I, didn't do it. I did no. bacon, egg and cheese with orange juice or cranberry juice. Mm. That was my thing. I, 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 and people and people don't realize like your body's coming from fasting mode from sleeping at night. The first I thing have, you input in your body should be important. So you putting a bacon, egg and cheese to wake it up. It's gonna all it's gonna do is put you like this. But exactly. I have, I have a couple of people that's also on the side asking me to um ask you to invite them to the spoken word. Your energy is like so amazing. <laughs> and I appreciate you for even coming on with this energy because it's like first, you're fun, you're laughing, you're entertaining, and secondly, now my wife is gonna be thinking about doing yoga. I might not. I'm lying. I'm gonna. Do, I do yoga. I, I'm gonna come to the yoga and also. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just need you to give me my credit when you notice her flexibility. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm gonna try to stop putting me on the spot. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Any, Diane, everybody, listen, I got you. That's my disclaimer. I tell everybody, especially whoever's married. Listen. Make sure. Make sure he keep playing for them classes. And he gave me my credit, okay? <laughs> Listen. They be like, oh, you ain't, what? How you do that? Yoga with Diane. If anybody would like to ask Diane a question, the phone <laughs> number is 929-441-2417. It's, screen, it's scrolling across the screen, and if you can't see it, the phone number is 929-441-2417. Yo, this woman, like I said, you know, she didn't go by the name of Goddess of Yoga until I put it into her into her inbox. And when I said, listen, this is the Goddess of Yoga, she laughed. But of course, now you see why I call her the Goddess of, of Yoga, because she has so many intricate parts of her in this yoga lifestyle. I, I want to see this trap and I want to see this twerking Yoga. Oh my gosh! I don't know how that's gonna work because when I think about oh yoga, my God, you, you gotta do the top too. You gotta do that. Uh, <laughs> Look, this, my tongue. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm used to the music where you just hear the ding. No, no, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. But I have to be honest, transparency. I wasn't in a good space for the past couple of weeks since the accident. I actually had to shut down um, these past few days and really go and regroup. I went into nature for about two days, three days, and um, I got back yesterday and I just did a lot of heavy soul searching and um, this accident has really like hindered a lot for me and it's, it's kind of trying make me go through emotional roller coaster like and I'm trying not to fall into that black hole. And when you hit me up today and you was like, you know, my spirit was like, oh, I don't think I'm ready. But then you hit me up and I was like, no, like this is this is the time is now. It's it's like you you're you can do it. And um it, it's so funny that you say like my energy because I feel like I my energy was not fully there, but I'm hard on myself. So we always harder, harder on ourselves. And I just had to tap in and I had actually spoke to myself. I said, no, it's in you. Like, just tap, just tap in. Like you can do it. And here I am. And this is what I try to bring through my classes and just through yoga, like just the upliftment of you do have to talk to yourself. Sometimes you do have to shut down sometimes. You do have to um, isolate yourself sometimes in a healthy way to regroup. 
Sometimes isolation could be negative. Sometimes it could be positive. I got a good cry out. I cried everything out. I listened to a couple of motivational videos. I ate vibrational foods and I meditated. I prayed. I painted. I, I did a couple of canvases. Actually, with my camera, I'm going to show you my canvases. And um, I just released everything. And sometimes life happens and it will always continuously happen. And you just have to have a way to bring yourself back. And that's what I bring in my classes. Like nothing matters, but right now. And, and like, I love to hear you saying that. And again, that's why I, I keep telling you, you're amazing. I have a young lady, right? Um, shout out to Mandy. Mandy's going to be on the show within the next couple of weeks. She's a heavy set woman. A plus size woman. Let me get let me let me be politically correct and not disrespect this woman. She's a plus size woman that moves. When I tell you she moves, she she does CrossFit, she works out. But her question is, do you have any advice for the plus size yoga people? Any advice to get more mobility? Now, when I tell you she moves, this woman, she is amazing. I can't remember, she lost, I think, a hundred and something pounds, almost two hundred pounds. But wow, she's amazing and I'm going to have her with her in the upcoming weeks. And some of the workout she sends me is just like, I'm looking at her like, I'll be honest. I'm looking at some of my workout and I'm like, I don't think I'm working hard enough. <laughs> yeah, don't be sleeping on my plus size. Okay. Oh, I don't sleep on that at all. But I'm just saying, some of the stuff I'm doing, I, I'm not a CrossFitter. So, you know, CrossFit is its own workout. Yoga is its own work. I'm into the bodybuilding and the, 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 the losing weight and the toning as far as a personal trainer. So everybody has their different avenues. But when I watch her, I'm like, you know, and I've watched a couple of CrossFit shows on Netflix. And I'm like, I can, it, it, to me, it's, it's a lot of, it's, it's CrossFit. So it's, it's, it's a twist between gymnastics and, you know, military stuff and as well as lifting. I don't go that far. But, you know, what she does, I, I, I totally respect it. And I respect every avenue that people do, whether it be Zumba, whether it be yoga, whether it be clanging and banging. Whatever anybody does to get their their mental stress out into in, out of them and into the, into the world, I, mm -hmm. I'm for. And you know, like we already say, I'm the clanging and banging, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do some yoga. I, I've I've done yoga again. I've done yoga twice. I'm not yoga Zumba twice. And I finished one class. In one class, I had to um. I had to <laughs> Use myself because somebody was calling me outside the room. Somebody to was like, oh, T. And I'm like, what? Well, I'm on my way. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, so my advice, um, plus size, there's no like there's no judgment in my class, and i I state that very clearly for my kids, adults, I don't care who it is. There's no judgment and you follow your body. What I could do. Someone else can't do. I don't want you looking at anybody else and comparing yourself because your body moves in the pace that it's supposed to move. Like, so don't say here, I can't do it. Don't say what you can't do. I also, I also say that in my class, don't say what you can't do. And um, it's just a gradual process. If you want to touch your toes, you will touch your toes if you work on it. It's not like, like I had friends like, oh, like, how can you, how, how can I get my, my foot over my head like you be doing? I'm like, honey, honey, honey. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach Erica, okay? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Wait, I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> you got a class when? Tonight? Pause, After pause. Oh, that. my goodness. I'll go back to the question. Okay, for plus size, what could help you is, um, these belts so this is a yoga belt and you can just look up yoga belt and this is like the beat this is like a godsend like for anybody who lacks mobility or stretching this belt is your friend like i use it a lot in my class especially when you can't reach certain things it's just it just helps you for example i put it on my feet if i can do this without the belt but someone can't so you would Put the belt underneath your feet, and then you will hold the belt like this. So something like that. So I know I saw that, right? <laughs> Baby, I, I saw your face when she just did that. <laughs> and I'm rusty. I'm rusty now because I haven't been practicing because of the accident. But like something like that. Like the belt is your friend, and then you just want to. Even when you're laying in the bed, you just want to use it, stretch, pull, like stuff like that. <laughs> What? I'm gonna do that right now. 
All right, I'm lying. Wait till I'm I get now. back in the groove. Wait till I get back in the groove. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm going to show her all my tips. Erica, um, I got I'm, you. I, 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 I'm speechless right now. You should be. So, okay. <laughs> Outside of that, right? We're talking about stretching, relaxing the body. Last week, our topic was, well, two weeks ago was um how yoga helps with blood pressure. So, you wasn't on the show. So, we, we, we gave out examples of what yoga does. And, I mean, we've only... We, me and Roz, we only knew about the, no, say, we didn't know about the, the twerking and the, the, we ain't know all of that. So how does this help with blood pressure and alleviate other health issues? So I would say alleviating blood. So my mom suffers from blood pressure and hypertension. And um, I watch her and I study her. And she, if if something offsets her energy, like it will raise her blood pressure. Okay. Like if, if she's bothered by something or she's worried about something, it will immediately escalate the blood pressure. So for me, like I teach her ways on how to like calm down, like just breathe. Like really maintain your sense of peace within you, because um, certain certain things that present themselves most times are out of your control, and or if you can control it, you need to take some time to work through it instead of getting all worked up. Where now your blood pressure is worked up, your sugar is worked up. And I watch her, like she tests it, like, oh, it was up this time. I was like, okay, how were you feeling? What were you thinking about? What were you stressing about? Mm -hmm. So that's why I say like yoga meditation comes into play when it comes to that. And just all like overall, um, just health issues that people deal with, it all it all has to do with the the inner peace that you maintain. Because as you can see, like anything can elevate it. Like my mom can leave the house, like she'll check it. And then by the time she gets to the hospital, she's like, oh my God, I checked it at home. I got to the hospital and um, they said it, it was high. I said, well, what happened within, within the travel? Did somebody like skip you and it pissed you off? Like, did you drop something and you was irritated? Like what happened? And it's like those little things you don't even notice. That's but then true. it also goes, it, you know, most of it goes back to diet because I, I had my mom change her whole diet. My dad, that's a little hard, but my mom is, my mom is, yeah, my mom basically follows my diet and it, it helped her, it helped her drastically. It does come, it, most of it comes down to the diet, but if you can control how you react mm -hmm. towards things, that can also be a way bigger beneficial factor in controlling how it like fluctuates all the time. I'm a person I believe, and I've said this, you know, and a lot of people hear me say it. If you can't control it, F it. You know, there are some things in life that you just have. Let no it go. Control over let it go. You let it be. Because if you allow it to stress you, you know, like I said, you know, Outside of my kidney issues, I had high blood pressure. I used to walk around with a blood pressure of 220 over 120, you know, so that was normal to me. And so when my blood pressure finally got normal, I felt like I was going to die. Wow. But, you know, so now that I'm in a, a different aspect of my life, now that I have a kidney, shout out to my little sister, Robin. Shout out mm -hmm. to my entire family that's down south, you know, going through what they're going through. But I'll be down there soon. But now that I'm in a new space in life, you know, I decided and I went cold turkey being a vegan. <laughs> Like, but you know why you're you you got to a place where your body told you you had to cut throat do it like and this is why I'm trying to sh share with people don't wait till it gets to that mm -hmm. don't wait and, do, and that's do, my mission that's my mission do the necessary yeah. steps now like people are like oh you you spend you spend all this money on food and stuff like that I'm like yeah because I want I would rather spend it on food than doctor bills or hospital bills. Like, Excellent. it's just, it's just a matter of perception. Like, 
like, what is your vice? My vice is I spend money on fruit juices and fruit. Like I go to the supermarket. My whole shopping is in the produce section. I don't even touch like it's and it's crazy because it's like, dang, I used to be all up in these aisles. And now I just go to produce, water aisle and then the greens and then I'm out. So it's like and then and trust me, I pick a couple of fruits and I'm spending one hundred and fifty dollars. But like, what are these foods feeding me? Is it, it, is it feeding me on a vibrational level or is it killing my vibration? So it's like, you gotta, you gotta reprogram your mind. Like, oh, that's too much money. Yeah. But then you're going to eat a burger that's going to ser not serve you. That's true. So, and then, but then you have, you know, people that's willing to spend like $300 on a pair of Jordans. I, I ain't see you complain about that. You stand on that, on that line though. And you will okay. be able to so I just be like, miss me, miss me with that. You have to pick what you want for your life. And once you make that decision, the money um, is not going to matter. Once you know the, once you get the information and you know the benefits is is, is adding to your life, money's not an issue. Just like that, you know, that them Jordans. I mean, and <laughs> I how you feel. have you always been into this alkaline lifestyle, or have you just? Have you now, just? I gave, I gave up red meat in high school. Um, so like and, five years uh, ago, huh? Like five I, years I, ago. I, I, oh, so I, mm, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't let's just say. People. Let's just say. Okay. Okay. I will let y'all guess. I have an eighteen-year-old. We got a twenty-three-year-old. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not over forty. I'm close to it though. Oh well, I'm I'm forty-three. Ooh, I'm thirty-eight. <laughs> So, yeah, and it, I don't know. It's just it's just a matter of what you what you choose for your life. And I gave up red meat in high school, and I don't really remember when I gave up like chicken and stuff. But um, I remember the day I gave up chicken. I was looking at a chicken breast, and it was like the, as big as a you know half a chicken. And I was like, something's wrong with this chicken breast. And well, don't, just, look, look, look at look at the white face because she she just had chicken. <laughs> Oh, I was just—I so just like, had jerk chicken for dinner. Okay, so we're not even gonna talk about that chicken. Moving on to something else. <laughs> and um, I just started—it was started with the chicken, and then I started like really looking into like you know um, documentaries, like what the hell, and like um. Believe uh, it or not, the day I decided, I, I had been telling my wife prior. I said, "Listen, I'm gonna go vegan," but I was thinking about just doing vegetarian. And then I watched What the Hell. I watched like on a Sunday. We watched, a, well, I watched it and she actually started watching some stuff with me. So we actually walked to the supermarket and we was like, okay, what are we going to have for dinner? And she was like, well, I haven't had lamb chops in a while. So she's like, okay, I'm going to make lamb chops. And that was Sunday, May 23rd or 24th. It was that Sunday. That was the last meat I've had of any sort. And she I, was like, well, okay, I'm going to still continue to eat. <laughs> and, and you know my, my, the, the kids, you know, the rest of the family, I don't push veganism on anybody. No, it's, you, you can't know, push it. it it's you what, you, what, you, what you choose to do. You know, if, so people ask me, well, how do I eat? This is how I eat. And it's not for everybody because, you know, especially with me being into bodybuilding, everybody always questions, well, how do, how do you maintain your maintain it, Where you get your protein? And it's like, okay, well, of course you get it from beans, cashews, almonds, so on and so forth. There are so many different ways where you can get your protein. Plants. The plants that these animals no, eat. No, no, no. no. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that. We're this is not the show I was supposed to co-host today, okay? <laughs> I was watching this show. Y'all not going to bash me, okay? I, I was actually <laughs> watching the show. And a guy was one of the strongest men in the world, and he was a vegan. So the question was, well, how are you a vegan and you're so strong? And he said, well, a rhinoceros is one of the strongest, if not the strongest animal in the world. And all they eat are plants. Was it the um the documentary? Um, oh, my God. I just showed I just showed that documentary to my students. Like it was about on athletes. Yes, um, yes. pro athletes. Yes. Why do I remember the name? I, I literally didn't remember the name either. It was on Netflix. Yes, I showed that to my um my students. And when I seen that, week. all I do, you know, and believe it or not, I feel like I'm a lot stronger than I was prior to when I was into bodybuilding. 
and I'm developing the game changers. That's what it's called, PM. Yeah. The game changers. So it, it, it's it, it's been amazing, and I feel in my energy level. Like today, I went outside and I shoveled twice. I did I did my entire house. We were in the corner house, so I went from up and cut up, and then I went the second time. I did the same thing, and then I went and shoveled my mother in law's house. So and my also, energy, also it is too like people think. You know, from eating meat and all the things we're used to eating and it's so flavorful, they think you can't find a replacement for it. And you can. And mm -hmm. sometimes people people experience bad vegan food and it, then it's a wrap. But I have alkaline chefs, like I have a list of alkaline chefs that hit the seasoning like you are eating like regular, like, you know, what we used to eat. And you're eating mushrooms. Like I, I even make fried chicken, but I'm using mushrooms. Would you use oyster? Yes. I made it for my daughter and she like killed it. I said, Well, if you killed it, then I know why I nailed it. Cause <laughs> Well, the thing is, right? Like, and I'll be honest with you, I within the last month I gave up the plant based meats. And oh. I've gone, I've gone to more of the the raw foods, and since I've done that, I've gone, I, I feel so much more powerful, so much more relaxed, and my energy level has skyrocketed, and it, it, it's 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 an amazing feeling, and it doesn't help that I'm just on, you know, I'm on so many other stuff that helps me with energy, that's natural, but at the same time, the the the, the lifestyle change that I'm a continuing to make. I'm noticing all of the different aspects of the changes in my body. So yeah, give up that toforky because I used to love <laughs> toforky. Oh my god! <laughs> but I just read up that another thing. I educated myself on that and and like tofu, and I was just like, oh, this is bad too. And then I'm like, what am I going to eat? And then I just found another avenue that was. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not one to say. I'm, I'm one of them people that sit back and say, well, listen. If you have something, do it in moderation. So I just had tofu. Um, I believe it was on Sunday. I think it was. That's what Saturday. I had. Saturday. Okay. And I'm not a person. I don't eat like I, I'm heavy into my greens and my peppers and stuff and my mushrooms. So I've I, I've learned how to flip um to fix them up where I like them. I like my hummus. I like my black beans. I like my kidney beans. So I, there's so much stuff that I add to my food to just make it spicy. And just bring the taste out, and I just love. Yeah, it. that's all you need to do. That's how I learned how to cook for myself, and like I, oh, like I figured it out. Like there's no room for cheating now. Like I don't have to cheat. Once I figured out the the things that I was cheating with, like because I had those cravings, and I replaced it, it was, I was good. I think the only bad thing that I have that I that I still intake, and I actually haven't had it in about a week or so. I, I'm trying to get rid of pretzels. Oh, I thought you. Oh my gosh! I, 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 um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. It be, it be, it be calling me. I walk past it in the store. It be like, T, come talk to me. Do you like plantain chips or walnuts? I like walnuts. I, I, I like all of those, but it's the pretzels. I mean, sauce, sea salt, all the walnuts. I don't know what it is, but anyway, let's get back on topic. As far as yoga. Anybody looking to get into it on the beginning stage, what would you recommend? Would you recommend them do an online class or YouTube or something? Would you recommend them that they go to an actual studio that does yoga? Would you recommend you? I mean, of course I'm going to recommend me. <laughs> um, no, I think you can start with like a beginner's YouTube um, video and just see if you can like keep up or like you know some of the poses and then you can venture off like um maybe a studio but studios are not for everyone like you have to actually figure out what is for you some people enjoy looking at um videos and some people enjoy the interaction like i have clients that can't do video they like to interact with me and like I'm looking at them and I'm adjusting them. I'm like, um, I need you to bring that leg back a little bit. Or like, I'll say, okay, okay, you got low, okay, and a little twerk, and then we get back to it. Like, they love the interaction. So you basically have to figure out what 
is best for you. But I would say if you haven't done yoga at all, I would say um, um, YouTube, like beginners yoga, and then see if you get into the flow of things and then you venture off and now you start, then you start to ask yourself, okay, who do I like? What personality, what aura do I resonate with? What style of yoga do I like? And then you can go from there. And how can people reach you? Because I'm My- sure from the people that I have listening and watching, <laughs> your energy, I- I'll be honest with you, you know, I'm not into the yoga, but your energy <laughs> has me like, all right, I got to give this amazing event. And, and once I once I once I go in a class, now listen, I can go into your class, right, and do the class, but I can walk right back out because I actually said I was gonna come to the class. I didn't say I was gonna fully do the class. Oh, oh my goodness. Leave the class. It's gonna be like a hot yoga session. You cannot leave the room once you enter it. You know that. That's a rule for hot yoga. Huh? I didn't hear you. What you a rule for hot yoga is you break it up. Class, I didn't you cannot, hear you. Oh my goodness! Stop it! You cannot leave. But so you're not doing. What are you talking about? How are you doing classes now, though, with COVID and everything? I'm on Zoom. Okay. I do the well. It's just Zoom. Yeah, okay. I haven't. And being at, a, I usually I usually go to the um to the parks when it was still warm, but mm-hmm. once the weather um got cold, it's just Zoom. Yeah, because I was going to say being closed up in a room with mask and uh, now turn off right the, there. I don't, <laughs> I don't like the mask because it limits the breathing. So right. I would, if it's a space where people can't take their mask off, like I'd rather just not do it because it defeats the whole purpose. Like yoga is heavy on breathing and the mask right. is limiting you from fully breathing. So can't <laughs> I can't do it? All right, so Zoom. But um, I am on Instagram. Um, yoga with Diane. Diane with two N's. D I A N N E. And um, you can email me via there. I am on Facebook too, but the easiest way to um contact me is through Instagram or my email. And my email is um. Do what? Yoga with Yogi D <laughs> at Gmail. <laughs> yes. Yoga with Yogi Y O G I D <laughs> at gmail.com. I got to ask the question. What? I see my wife got the face. Break it, break it, break it. What? What? Don't make what? No. Why Yogi? Are you a Yogi Bear fan? <laughs> No, I mean a yoga a person that practices you. yoga all the time is called a yogi, just for your information. Oh, I didn't know that. See, I just learned something because I put a true. yogi, I was like, yogi. Yeah, yogi D. Long story you know, about yogi bear though. Like, <laughs> I feel yeah, like because... sometimes you know I'm a little I you know I cross around real quick, so you know, bars. Hmm. Listen, I thought and also we have another story because my wife used to get kidnapped as a kid. <laughs> and, and let me ask you, where did you grow up? Did you grow up in Brooklyn? Oh Queens. my goodness. Okay, so us queens really didn't know about Yogi Bear. See? And my wife used to get picked up by this van or this bus, and they used to take her somewhere, feed her, tell her stories, and then bring her back home. And she don't know oh. where she went. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> listen, listen. So she used to get no childhood if you didn't go to Yogi Bear, okay? I'm I'm just telling you that right now. More power to you. (laughs) (laughs) I remember the first time she told me that story. I'm like, what's Yogi Bear? The email is is yoga. Hmm? Yoga. Your email. Oh, yoga with yoga with Yogi D. Y O G I. Letter D? Yep. At Gmail? Yep. All right. And then Instagram yoga with Diane. I got you on Instagram already. I got you on Facebook. Yeah, I guess. I just requested you on Facebook, so. You don't have Instagram? 
Yeah, she has yoga with Diane. Yeah, Instagram is the easiest contact. <clears throat> All right. So, is there anything else you want to tell us? And me and you will be talking about us doing our joint <laughs> venture come the summertime. Maybe we might get a little tour going on where we hit a couple of spots in Brooklyn and Queens, and we'll be by water. Thank you. <laughs> most parks have water, so I don't know. No, it's not. Yeah, no. I don't know about most parks because where we train at 150th Park. 150th Park does have water. I've where? seen it by the basketball courts. We're not talking about the puddles and the the the, the No, sewer and I'm talking water. about the whole sprinkler situation going no, on. She's talking about, like, she's talking about like a pond, right? Um, Diane, Baisley Pond. Yeah. No, no. Well, Basley, I'm, I'm, Basley Pond Park has that pond by by August Martin, but I'm all for the kind do it on 150th Park. Mm. Okay. That's what I train some of my clients at. Okay. There's no water over there. At least I don't know, but maybe there is. Well, we're, really about sprinkles. we're talking about like 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 a lake type pond type thing, right? Um, I, sometimes I go to Basley Pond Park with, but that's with one client. Um, but there. I found like two others, like um in Nassau and other places. Eisenhower um, Park. Huh? Eisenhower Park. Is it that one? I gotta write them down. I don't I just be knowing how to get there. <laughs> At the end of the day, we'll talk about it. We'll we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. You have a couple of people on that saying that they're gonna add you. So Yeah, hit me up and slide in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh my goodness. She's crazy. <laughs> and her name now is gonna be Yoga with Yogi D. Wait, yoga with Yogi Crazy D. It goes oh down goodness. in the DMs. What? <laughs> Yo. That's just saying. I, I, I'm 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 <laughs> So, I'm gonna I mean, get back to it, but I, um, I, I'm gonna push myself to do um, possibly in March uh, 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 a community class for free um, mm -hmm. on Zoom, and you know you don't know what to expect. It may be a tour class, and maybe you know you never know. Maybe a you know a little mixture of everything. Just be ready. Well, March 20th, I'm at 150th Park doing my first um, of this summer family boot camp that's cool. that's going to be for men women and children adults 16 and over is 15 dollars children 10 to 16 is going to be 10 again but more information to be coming and after that me and diane will definitely be getting with everybody to let everybody know where we're going to be at and what we're going to be doing together yeah so mandy said she's going to be adding you oh thank you um, she also said that she also has the yoga the yoga strap that you have. She has some, some stretching bands, and she said yoga blocks. Yes, oh, she's on it. <laughs> and she said I she have a yoga from, mat. If that counts, that's still good too. Some people don't got that either. <laughs> I got a towel. I mean, I got everything. I got I got a yoga wheel. A yoga wheel. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Don't don't even start. Don't even start. What is a yoga even... wheel? First of all, you lucky I can't even get on this right now because of my back. <laughs> but there's some. Is that what you put some... on your back and you just lean over? I mean, you could do a lot of things on it. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just saying. And then right here, I'm back here my water. this is what I this is what I used to go upside down. Like my head goes in here. And then my legs go up. <laughs> it's a lot of contraptions, you know. I just have them all. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what? It's okay. It's gonna be alright. I'm gonna show. I, once I get back in the groove, and the doctor says I can do this, you'll see. So these are knee pads. Um, um, if you have knee problems, or just in general, I don't have knee problems, but I do. I practice a lot of yoga, so sometimes um, some of the poses you need a little cushion like or you have a blanket but i i do them so much so i ordered knee pads and um yeah just just little gadgets but for beginners i i will always highly suggest a good mat yoga blocks and the yoga belt those are like for me like must-haves uh 
for beginners. Because all the all the places you can't reach or you think you can't reach, I could get you to reach them with a yoga block or a belt. Okay. So I have to get a block <laughs> belt. Okay. Take a deep breath, like. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that is good to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, then, um, and then if you, you know, this is a yoga pillow cushion, and um, this elevates certain poses too. I think she's freezing again. <laughs> Am I freezing? Yeah, not on freeze. my end. Oh, well, that's you. <laughs> not on my end. She's Could good. Yeah. Exactly. So. Those are like the essentials, but um, beginners, block, belt, and a yoga mat. So you, that's all you need. All right. So again, in the right state oh, of mind. That's the most important. Again, Diane, I want to thank you. I truly appreciate having you on the show. Much love and blessings. Thank you. And. <laughs> Anytime you want to come back on the show, you want to promote something, you want to just do anything and let us know to, to promote it for you, you're more than welcome to come on. It's now an open door policy. We're going to be talking because we're going to be doing our own thing. And my wife is going to be contacting you so she could do her yoga class with you. You know, where I will just look outside oh, the door and just watch. Yeah, you're going to, what you're going to teach her? You're going to teach her the twerk, the twerk, the twerk thing? What? Listen, don't even. <laughs> 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 Wait till I get my full twerk back. Oh like, my god! We going talk. We going talk. <laughs> but again, you know, listen. I truly, truly appreciate having you on the show. <clears throat> you, you're amazing. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate. I appreciate you. You taught, you taught me, and I'm sure you taught others that there are more than one style of yoga. I mean, we know about hot yoga, but now we know that there's different things with yoga and yoga can be very fun and i didn't know that i thought just i thought it was just more so the the, the melancholy type yoga where you're always relaxed and you're just in a certain place no, and then and another thing with my class if you take my class consistent consistently no class will be the same nice no, I, I, I pride myself on that because i hate i i get bored very easily so i don't like to be bored so I'm not gonna give people the same thing. Like, there's gonna be like a warm up session, like sun salutation. That's not gonna change. Mm -hmm. But I might switch it up a little bit. But the the routine to warm you up will be kind of the same. But the duration of the class will always be different because it's it's a it's it's a flow. It's I'm bouncing back off of your energy. I'm seeing where you at that day. You might be in a fun place. You might we might hit a little twerks here and there. We might not, or um, we might keep it real, real slow and just calm. So it depends on like what's going on. Like some people come, they have a bad day. We could do heavy meditation that day. So it's just it just I bounce off of like real genuine time and. It's just feeding back off of each other, and that's how the class flows, and that's how I keep you interested and in coming back for more. <laughs> and I, listen, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely give you a shot and, <laughs> and do a yoga class, but we're gonna close out the show now. So again, I want to say thank you for coming on board. I truly truly appreciate you. Um, shout out to my to my special guest co-host today, my beautiful and lovely wife Erica. Yes, yeah, you know. Um, shout out to Roz, who is I'm not sure if she's watching, but I'm sure she's probably handling her business out in Cali. Shout out to my little sister Robin, who is my other co-host, but because of family issues, she was unable to come on. And a special, special shout out to my sponsors, Elevate Yours, Wise Choice Sue and Dream, Saving by Butter, Faith No Fear, Envious Creations, 2920 Clothing, Envy Inc., Styles by Angel. And most importantly, but not not I have to always shout out the Evening Rush Network who allowed us to have this very, very special platform where we was able to host the goddess of yoga, yoga with Diane. So everybody keep watching. If you missed out, you could come back on to the Evening Rush Network and watch it again and again and again. And everybody that thought this was a great show, please share it on your page. 
because this was an amazing show with so much, so much energy. I, I, I'm actually like, I, I got to watch it again because this is a crazy show. This is a funny was show. Was I great? Did I make, did I hit the great button? <laughs> you hit the great button. But I told you that already. He you know, told me, he was like, I don't need good. I need I don't, great. I don't want good. I don't want okay. I need you to be great. I need you to bring the A plus game. And, okay. And you did that. So okay, I really you. appreciate you. Erica, thank you for coming on the show. You didn't thank have to come on the show. I, I interrupted your, your Thursday night, but listen. You sure did. You sure did. But it is what it is, and I appreciate you. I appreciate all our listeners, all our watchers, anybody that continues to make the TL Mac Fitness Show great. I appreciate you guys. Y'all already know we work over here. Keep pushing. See y'all next week. <laughs>